admittedly, this story is a little bit of navel gazing uh, and, and a little bit of inside baseball here, but I just thought I'd talk about this for a second. You know, with the writers and the actors strike going on and, you know, industry shut down and the AMPTP, the studios just can't seem to get out of their own way to get a good deal made and whatever. It's not just the actors and the writers that is, that are hurting, right? There are production companies being shut down all over the place. People who work in industries that rely on the film industry working aren't happening. We just found out one of my favorite restaurants um, in um, uh, out in the Los Angeles, Hollywood, Burbank area is looking. They may not survive because they're so their business is built on production crews going there for lunch. And now no one's going in for lunch. I mean, just a lot of things. Well, the online movie pundit space is one of those because when there's no writing and there's no actors, that means there's no casting announcements. There's no development announcements. There's no script updates. There's, I mean, basically it's difficult sometimes to come up with news. I understand that. I, I, I'm a part of that. I, I recognize it every day. But wow, that has led to something, a habit going on in the, and I'm not going to point out any one outlet because this is kind of like online movie coverage. Why? This is everybody. This is a trend that's out there, which is if there's not a movie news story to talk about, make one up. <laughs> so let, let me give you some, here's what I mean by that. Okay. So I, over the last month, two months go through my you know, my list, my, my news feeds, right? I go through my news feeds and look for the stories that are coming out. And once in a while, I'll come across the stories like first look at Leah Schreiber's, uh, saber tooth costume for Deadpool (laughs) three. Be like, Oh, what? And get all excited. Click on it. It's fan art. So, like, the, hey, we had no news stories, so we made this thing up and we made it about this piece of fan art. I kid you not, in the last month or two, 20, 30, 40 times I've come across that. Even today, look at this. Today, this is from one of my uh, my news feeds. There's this big story on Screen Rant. And, I, and I'm not trying to center out or point a finger at Screen Rant. This is an industry-wide thing that's going on right now, okay? So I'm not, I'm not trying to disparage on Screen Rant. But headline. Jon Snow spinoff poster teases warg powers that Game of Thrones barely touched on. I'm like, what? There's, there's, they've got a, a first teaser poster for the Snow series. <laughs> That's awesome. Click. There is no poster for the new Snow series. It's some fan put together a fake poster of half face of Jon Snow, half face of a wolf, and put it up on Reddit. And I, again, this is not me bagging on Screen Rant for running the headline. Jon Snow spinoff poster teases. <laughs> there is no Jon Snow. Pin. It's that just kind of highlights just how desperate <laughs> some places and people are right now because these, again, if there is no news, they're making up news. This isn't an actual story. It's a piece of fan art. And I just kind of wish they would put fan art in the title a little bit, but this is not a, a, an isolated thing, Rob. This is a very, very common. Have you noticed this thing oh. going on too? Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Quip. Guys, you know that good health starts with good habits and Quip makes it easy by delivering all the oral care essentials that you need to care for your mouth. For example, their incredible electric toothbrush. Guys, I've been using electric toothbrushes for years and this is easily the best one I've ever owned. Time sonic vibrations with 30 second pulses to guide a dentist recommended two minute clean. A lightweight and sleek design for adults and kids with no wires or bulky charger to weigh you down. Reusable handles in a range of sleek metal hues as well as bright plastic colors sure to make a pop on your bathroom counter. Skip the bath batteries and snap into healthy habits with the new rechargeable electric toothbrush. All the features of the original Quip plus one magnetic charge powers up to three months of brushing. In addition to brush heads, Quip also delivers fresh floss, toothpaste, mouthwash, and gum refills every three months from just $7. So if you go to getquip.com slash campia right now, you'll get 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, or water flosser. That's your 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, water flosser at getquip.com slash campia that's g-e-t-q-u-i-p dot com slash campia quip the good habits company yeah but you know and hearing you articulate as well as you just did it makes me want to make up a star trek show that i'm just going to say that i'm creating and, go. and i'm going to cast it <laughs> i'm going to give out the premise i'm going to say who's I know writing the it 
Rob Robert Meyer Burnett's new Star Trek series first poster arrives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Green, no, no. Green lit by CBS Paramount. In your dream. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> that's now, why not? Over for later. That's going to make it. No, but I think John, that I, look, I get it. Everybody needs to keep the light lights on, but at the end of the day, you know, in our already. AI filled world where stories are now being written by AI. There's whole outlets that are saying that, you know, we don't even need human people to write stories anymore. We just have AI do it. We're going to see more and more of this. And, and the, the, the line between reality and fantasy is it's already blurred, but maybe there won't be one. Maybe you'll just suddenly believe that, yeah, you know what? These are war powers. That's that <laughs> this is happening. And then no one's going to remember whether it happened or not. That's the big thing, right? Like a lot of, a lot of outlets today will write this stuff because there literally is no consequence anymore for it. It's like either people will just forget about it or what, whatever. So guys, do me a favor, will you? If you guys come across these sorts of headlines, we're based specifically talking about fan art. Because 99% of these things that I come across, it's, it's based on a piece of fan art, but they'll put like something in the title without revealing it's based on a piece of made up fan art. If you guys come across these stories, can you email me a link? Uh, cause I, I would, I'd like to start collecting these headlines. So just email me at John at the John show.com. That's John at the John show.com. If you can send those to me, that would be, uh, that would be pretty good. I like to, like to start putting together a collection of these things. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia show podcast available on Apple podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today. So it'll be there when you need it.